was awesome. So what do you think of Young Hollywood? How do you like the new YouTube channel? Black Box TV, anyone? How would we mime an interview? Was that your date? Don't tell my husband. He came with me. I usually avoid interviews. Why? Um, not much gets across in an interview with me. I'm usually a blathering idiot. No return! No return! No return! Nikki Novak here for YHN, and on this episode of Guest List Only, it is Friday the 13th, and we are taking you inside the premiere party of YouTube's Black Box TV. Come with me if you dare. Wow. to this at this point. I absolutely love zombies. It's a weird, sick fascination. This is kind of a dream come true right now, I have to say. I feel like I want to give them some powder and concealer that you shouldn't show up at a party looking like this. Was that your date? Don't tell my husband. He came with me, but don't tell my husband. She's got a little something going on the side, I can see. I, ooh, threesome. I'm here with Tony Valenzuela, the creator of Black Box TV. How's it going? Really good, how are you tonight? Good, congratulations. Awesome. Yeah, this is really cool. It's been an awesome day. This is your party and you can cry if you want to. <laughs> I would rather sleep, I think, than cry at this or, point. Or scream. Do you want to see my horror scream? Of course. <laughs> I just scared the whole do party. It again. I want her to do it. She should do it again. I want to see it. Big. I want big. Bigger? Bigger. Bigger. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> that was an evil laugh. <laughs> that was a he has a Tony has an evil laugh. I have a very nice and innocent laugh. How did Black Box TV come about? I've been making a series on YouTube for like about the last four years. Yeah. And I wanted to do something that was like something that I wanted to see, something that was scary and interesting. Ray Bradbury, Twilight Zone, Stephen King. Um, it's really interesting because the like the episode that's up right now, uh, Perfect Night, it was that that happened to me. I went to the haunted um, hotel in San Diego, the haunted Horton Hotel room. I think it's room 206 or 106. I don't know if I changed it or not. And we couldn't get into the door. It's jammed. Well, you shouldn't have any fear because Anthony Zyker, who's a mammoth, <laughs> creator of CSI, came to you, had seen your episodes on, on YouTube, and came to you. Anthony Zyker's company, Dare to Pass, called me and they said, we love your stuff, can we talk to you? And I remember jumping up and down, like I was like, this is unreal. Are the stories based on your life? All the good ones have a big chunk of truth from my life. Final Exit uh, was, I, I almost drowned in a bowl when I was a kid and um, my cousin jumped in and saved me. So I had, I had a revisionist theory about what happened there and that's what Final Exit ended up being about. Cut, cut, cut. I was in The Hills Have Eyes by Alexander Aha. I was in Mirrors with, uh, directed by Alexander Aha and I was also in the Rob Zombie um, Halloween series. And you were also in this little movie. I mean, it's called The Artist. I don't know if I've heard of it or not. Yeah, I don't think anybody's heard of that movie. It, it was a silent film out of France and nobody really... It's this little thing. It didn't catch thing. fire. It didn't catch fire. So tell me about your experience on that. Berenice Peugeot, with whom I had my scene, hadn't yet learned at that point how to speak particularly communicable English. When I ran into her at the premiere, She's like, oh, Ezra, I needed to tell you. It was so nice of you because you were so sweet and made me feel so comfortable. It was my very first scene. I thought that was so sweet. How would we mime an interview? <laughs> I usually avoid interviews. Why? Um, not much gets across in an interview with me. I'm usually a blathering idiot. What would you like to get across that you haven't in the past? Well, here's the thing. I don't think actors are qualified to even express important opinions. <laughs> and we shouldn't take them seriously anyway, so. So your episode, give me a little teaser. OK, um, it's a love triangle between me and two guys. I really like Hi. that. I got to mac on both of them. Um, 
there's an unknown creature entity in the woods and it's pretty terrifying so I'd be excited to see how it turned out. If nothing else I'm in a bikini so. Reason enough, reason enough, there you go.